Hess's Law of Constant Heat Summation, or just plain old Hess's Law, states regardless of the multiple stages or steps of a reaction, the total enthalpy, enthalpy change, the delta H, for the reaction is sum of all the changes. Now, these calculations will be on the test. And so, once you get the hang of them, they're really fun to do. All right? Because we all know math is fun, right? Especially when you understand it. So, I'll hit pause. Okay. Now, do, there's a lot of words on this slide. Do not write all the words down. I'm going to show you what I want you to write. All right? So, I'm going to zoom this out. You need to write down this equation here. Leave a couple of spaces on your paper. And then write these three equations down and leaving space in between each one. All right? So we're going to create methane from the taking graphite and put it in the presence of hydrogen gas. We can't figure out the enthalpy change on this because the reaction's so slow, but we know enthalpy changes on three other reactions, so we can figure out this one. So s write this one down, leave some space, and write these guys down and leave space in between each one. All right. So I'll give you a minute to do that. So I'm going to write down the equation we're trying to get to. All right. This is where our target is. All right. And to get there, we need three other equations to do that. And we got this one. the synthesis of CO2 alright the synthesis of water and the combustion of methane. Okay, guys, girls, first of all, what we need to look at is our reactants and our products. And we want to line up these three equations so the same reactants are on the same side as the ones in the equation we're headed toward. All right? Now, is carbon a reactant in our equation? Is carbon a reactant in this equation right here? Yes. Now, in our first equation that we get to use, because we know the delta H for it, is carbon a reactant? Is that a reactant in this equation right here? Yes. So we leave this equation alone because we want carbon on the left. We got carbon on the left here. All right. Our next reactant is hydrogen. We come down, it's in this equation right here. Is it a reactant in this equation? Yes, so, but, but, but here's the problem. How many hydrogens do I have up here? No, well, I mean, how many hydrogen molecules? How many hydrogen molecules? Molecules, eight. How many H2s do I have? Two. All right. All right. Do I have two here? 
So here's what I have to do. I want to make, I want to get everything down here on these bottom three to look like the things we need on the top one. So I'm going to double everything in this equation. What's double one half? One, so I can get rid of that. And I double this. If I've doubled the equation, what happens to this number? It doubles. So can somebody do 285 times 2? 285.8 times 2? <laughs> What'd you get? What? 574.8. No, 571. Oh, okay. 571.6. It's still negative. All right. We just doubled the reaction, so we're going to double the energy it takes, it releases. Now, what side, what do we call this side of the equation where the methane is? These are reactants. Products. Where's our methane over here? Where's our methane? It's in the reactant. Now, we can fix that. How can we easily fix that? How, do I, how can I get this over here? No, just don't make it complicated. Flip it around. Thanks, Trent. We're going to flip this equation around. All right. If you need something on the product side, you flip the equation around. And if we flipped it around, what happens to the sign on our delta H here? So the delta H down here now is going to be 890.3. All right. I flipped it because I want, if this is a product here, I need it as a product down here. All right. So if you have to flip an equation around, it's okay to do. Just don't forget to change the sign on your delta H. All right. Just like here in the second equation, I needed two hydrogens, so I had to double that equation, so I had to change the delta H. So now, we don't need this equation anymore here, because we've played with it. Now, boys and girls, children of all ages, here's where we start to simplify the equation. I need the C, correct? So I'm going to keep it there. Now. I have oxygen on this side, correct? And I have an oxygen here for a total of how many ox how many oxygen molecules? Two. Two. How many do I have over here? Two. So I can cancel those out. I can get rid of them. All right. I got two on the right, two on the left. We can eliminate them. If whatever's on the left can eliminate stuff on the right, all right? Do I need this hydrogen? Yes, so I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to come over here to the water. How many waters? Two. How many waters on the left? What can I do? Cross them off. Now, what do I got left? I got how many CO2s? Yep, Hannah. I'm getting rid of stuff I don't need. All I need for this equation up here is this. Okay. Yep, the very first one is the one I'm trying to find the delta H for. So can you cross up on both sides? Like I like here. Let's. Yep, because I got two two oxygens here. And I had two down here. I can get them. I can get rid of them. They cancel each other out. And then I had two waters and two waters. I can cancel them out. 
Now I got a CO2 on the left and a CO2 on the right. So what happens? Cross them out. And that leaves me with that leaves me, and let me change a color here. That let's go with pink. I have carbon plus two hydrogens makes CH4. Is that my original equation? So now I got to figure the total enthalpy. All right, so I ended up with carbon plus two hydrogens makes CH4. Now I got minus 393.5 and we don't need this but we got to need this because we doubled that minus 571.6 and what's the sign on this guy? Positive 890.3 Somebody do the math. Well, it's negative. It's minus, minus, plus. So it's... Put them all together with using the signs. This is where it becomes math now. You could start with an 890 and subtract the rest off. What do you get? So the delta H for this reaction is a negative 74.8. All right. Kilojoules per mole. All right, there we go. Now, so we're leaving this oxygen here but we got to get this water to the other side. So, a couple of things have to happen. Now, we got to flip it over, but how many waters do I have here compared to here? How many waters in our target? How many targets down here? So, what we got to do is flip it and cut it in half. Just like we doubled it in the other example, now we have to cut it in half. And when you cut one thing in half or double it, you have to do the same to the other side. All right. Now, What does that do to our delta H? It changes its sign. All right. So I flipped this equation. I've cut it in half because that gets us one water down here and it keeps us with one water up here. All right. Now, I don't normally do this, but it's going to be on the video. I'm going to erase our yellow equation because we've, we've taken care of what we need to do. All right, and it'll help keep things clear. All righty. Now, hydrogen's a product on our target equation. It's a reactant down here, so what do we got to do? We got to flip it, but also what do we got to do? How many hydrogens do I have down here? How many do I have up here? One. So I have to flip and half. So I have to half this equation, the decomposition of to one half carbon and hydrogen. So now, what does that do to our number and our sign? What does that do to our number and our sign for this delta? It makes it positive. And since we cut it in half, what do we got to do? 
Cut the number in half. Fifty six point one divided by two is twenty eight point oh five. So we had to flip the equation to get the hydrogen on the right side, and we had to have it to get the right number of hydrogens. Because we did that, we had to decrease our delta H. Oh, did I forget to cut the 667 in half? I think I did. Thank you for noticing. I forgot to cut the 667 in half. Nobody noticed except Bree. So... All right, so I'm going to get rid of this to help clear up any. All right. Now, let's see what we can do here. We may have to do fiddle with this last equation that's left behind. Because we want to cancel stuff out. Can we cancel this carbon dioxide with this carbon dioxide? No, because they are on the wrong side. And I only need a half a carbon dioxide. So again, I'm going to have to flip this over and cut it in half. So one half C plus one half oxygen goes to make one half CO2. I got to flip the sign and cut the 295 and half. Alrighty. Now comes the fun part. Get rid of the yellow equation. Let's change to another color. Let's try bright green. Okay, let's start up here. I have half a carbon on the left. Do I have a half a carbon on the right someplace that I can cancel it with? Down here. Zip, zip. You can cancel things on the left with things on the right or things on the right with things on the left. Oxygen, one half oxygen on the left, one full oxygen on the right. One oxygen minus half of oxygen gives you what? Half an oxygen over here. This one goes away. All right. A half of CO2 on a right side. Do I have one I can use on the left side? Second equation right here. Zip, zip. Do I need to mess with my water here? Because I need it up here, correct? All right. Let's go to the CH4 right here. Do I have one on the left I can cancel with? I still need my half of water up in the target. I still need my half of water, right? I got a half of water here. I need a half of water up there. So I don't mess with that. And I'm left with hydrogen. Do I have everything I need now for the target equation? I have water on the left a half an oxygen on the right, and hydrogen on the right. Now, last thing we got to do, yep. I had a full O2 over here and a half over here. So you just get rid of half of it. So now, our delta H, 
Our delta H's look like this, plus 147.55, plus 333.95, plus 28.05. What do you think we're going to do for these that work out pretty simple? This is a high energy equation. You have to put a lot of energy into water to break it up. So, what number did you come up with? Somebody? Anybody? Bueller? I got 509.55. You could round that to 6 if you wanted. And that's your answer. Don't be afraid to double equations. Don't be afraid to cut them in half. Don't be afraid to flip them around. Just remember to adjust your numbers accordingly. So, last thing for today, and you're going to cry a little, but that's okay. Here's what I want you to do for tomorrow. All right. Number one, your homework. Do the MRE article, 10 minutes. All right. Number two, food lab, turn in by morning. Number three, chaos lab, pre-lab, and that will post in a few minutes. And number four, attempt. problems two through seven on the homework.